Hello there and welcome back again. Let's work out the absolute coordinates for position 1 through 9. Now absolute coordinates are measured from the 0 position. Now the origin x0, y0 is located at the center of the grid. So our first position, our origin is x0, y0. Now for position 1, let's figure out the x and y coordinates for position 1. How many squares along the x-axis? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're 6 squares along the x-axis and along the y-axis 1, 2. So for position 1 we have x positive 6 and y positive 2. Now let's figure out the remaining absolute coordinates by counting up the grid squares and we need to remember to work out if it's a positive or negative value. So off now to position 2. Now position 2 is just to the left of the y-axis so the x value is going to be a negative. How many squares have we got here? It's 1. So for position 2 x is minus 1. Now what about the y? So that's above the x-axis. It's going to be a positive something. Let's count the squares up. 1, 2, 3, 4. And we got plus 4. So for position 2 x is minus 1 and y is plus 4. Next up to position 3. So again this x value for 3 is going to be negative. How much? 1, 2, 3. So for position 3 x is negative 3. Now the y is going to be a positive value. Let's count the squares up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So for position 3 we have x minus 3 and y positive 7. Now next up position 4. Now again position 4 is to the left of the y-axis so it's going to be a negative amount. How much? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the x is negative 5. Now for position 4 the y, let's count the squares up. 1, 2, 3 positive 3. So for position 4, what do we got? x minus 5 and y plus 3. Next up, over to position 5. Now for the x, it's going to be a negative something. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 squares. So for position 5, x will be negative 6. Now what about the y? Is that going to be a plus or a minus? Well look, it's below the x-axis so it's going to be a negative something. How much? 1, 2, 3. So the y will be negative 3. So for position 5 what do we have? x minus 6 and y minus 3. Next up off to position 6. Now for the x it's going to be a negative 1, 2. So x is negative 1, 2. Now for the y, it's below the x-axis, so it's going to be a y negative. How much? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So for position 6, what do we have? x minus 2 and y minus 6. OK, on to lucky 7. So for the x, it's to the right of the y-axis, so we're going to have a positive amount for the x. How much? 1, 2 squares. So for position 7, the x is 2. Now what about the y? We're below the x-axis, so it's going to be a negative amount. How many squares we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Negative 6. So for position 7, what we have is x plus 2 and y negative 6. On to position 8. So the x is going to be a positive amount. How much? 1, 2, 3, 4, 
find six squares for the x. Now the y, that's going to be negative one. So for position eight, what do we got? x plus six and y negative one. Now let's check out position nine. Now position nine in the x, it's going to be a positive one, two, three squares. So the x is plus three. And once again, we'll below the x-axis, one, two. So the y is going to be a minus amount. Now we're changing gears. For this exercise, we're going to figure out the incremental coordinates from positions one through nine. Now, G91 is the code to let the CNC machine know that the coordinates are in incremental. Now remember with incremental we're figuring out the distance from the last position to the next endpoint and we also need to identify if it's a positive or negative direction. Now from the origin to position 1 it's one, two, three, four, five, six squares along the x-axis and one, two up along the y-axis. Now, both of these are positive values. So from the origin to position one, incrementally, we move six in x and two in y. Now, let's figure out the remaining incremental coordinates by counting up the grid squares and remember to work out if it's a positive or negative value. Now what about position 1 to position 2? Now imagine if you were walking from position 1 to position 2, how much would you move in the x-axis? Well we're moving in the negative x direction and how much? Let's count the squares up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So from 1 to 2, x would be negative 7. Now, how much would you move in the y-axis from position 1 up to position 2? Let's count the squares. 1, 2. So we're moving in the y, positive 2. So from 1 to 2, x minus 7 and y positive 2. Now let's figure out the remaining incremental values. So from 2 to 3. Let's figure out the x first. So we're moving to the left. We're moving in the x negative direction. How many squares? 2. So from 2 to 3, x minus 2. Now next up, the y. So we're moving upwards. How many squares? One, two, three. So we're moving in the positive y direction. Three squares. So from two to three, x is minus two, and y plus three. So next up on our journey, from three to four. So let's figure out the x first. So we're moving to the left. So we're moving in the x negative direction. How many squares? 1, 2. So from 3 to 4, x is minus 2. Now, what about the y? So we're moving down. We're moving in the negative y direction. How many squares? 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're moving minus 4. So from 3 to 4, x minus 2 and y minus 4. So next up, 4 to 5. Now the x, again we're moving to the left, so the x is going to be a negative something, one square. So from 4 to 5, x is minus 1. Now for the y, we're moving down, we're moving in the negative y direction. How many squares? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Negative 6. So from 4 to 5, what do we got? x minus 1 and y is minus 6. Next up, 5 down to 6. So let's figure out those x 
values first. So we're moving to the right. We're moving in the x positive direction. How many squares? One, two, three, four. So x is four. Now what about the y? What do you think? We're moving in the negative y direction. How many? One, two, three. Three squares. So from five to six, what do we got? x is plus 4 and y is minus 3. Next up, 6 to 7. So 6 to 7, we're moving in the x positive direction. How many squares? 1, 2, 3, 4. So the x will be plus 4. Now imagine if you were stone cold sober and you walk from 6 to 7 how much would you move in the y-axis incrementally? Absolutely nothing. So from 6 to 7, the y is 0. So 6 to 7, x is plus 4, and y is 0. Next up, 7 up here to position 8. So what do we got? The x, we're moving over here to the right, and it's going to be a positive amount. How many squares? 1, 2, 3. Four. So x is plus 4. Now what about the y? So we're moving up. That's going to be a positive amount. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Perfect. So from 7 to 8, x is plus 4. And y is plus 5. Next up, 8, just over to the left, to position 9. So from 8 to 9. In the extraction, what are we moving? Plus or minus? So we're moving to the left. We're moving in the negative x direction. How much? One, two, three. So from eight to nine, x is going to be negative three. Now, what about the y? So we're moving down from eight to nine. Let's check it out. One square. So our y is going to be minus one. So from eight over to 9, we have x minus 3 and y plus 1, y minus 1. Last one, 9, back to the origin. So from 9, let's figure out the x. Is it going to be plus or minus? So we're moving over to the left in a negative direction and we've got 1, 2, 3 squares. So our x is minus 3. Now we're moving up in the y, so that's going to be a positive, and we've got two squares. So from 9 back to the origin, we have x minus 3 and y plus 2. Now this completes this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll be talking with you soon.